Hi, okay, so new background. Yeah, we're in a different room. Yeah, we need to get some better lighting, but I think it's okay for now, right? Yeah, I dig. All right, so first question. Uh, I hear the term used all the time. I don't know what it really means. I just know everybody does it wrong. Okay. Uh, what's praxis? What is praxis? Okay, praxis is action oriented toward changing society uh, in, in its simplest. I like to think of it sort of like a political version of the scientific method. Okay, so it's like a plan. It's sort of like a plan. It's sort of a way of thinking or a way of action. Um, and it is something that we should always be considering and assessing. In pedagogy... Uh, I'm sorry, pedagogy? Pedagogy, teaching, teaching. Okay. In education, in teaching, um, we talk about praxis in a very similar way. Um, and basically, instead of changing society, you're changing minds uh, mm. because you're educating. Mm. And changing minds and educating means you're changing society. So it's very similar. Um, but in pedagogy, um, they talk about the sort of method of praxis. And that method goes very similar to the scientific method. It is you do the thing, mm. you um, look at the results, mm. you analyze how you got to those results, what you did right, what you did wrong, what you could change. Then you formulate a plan that mm. considers the things that you did right and the things that you did wrong. And mm. then you put that plan back into action in the future. Okay, so I'm a teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I do for a living. Sure. So in my case, praxis is very simplified. Just make sure if I got this right. Um, I do a crossword puzzle with the students. Yes. Because this year we're going to do crossword puzzles on Thursday. That's the plan. Yeah. Uh, but with one of my classes, they spend the whole time crumpling up the papers and throwing them at each other, and they don't do the project. Yeah. So we talk about that, and we find it. We figure that they actually prefer to do search word searches. Yeah. So we change crossword Thursday to word search Thursday for that class. Yeah. That's praxis. Basically, yeah. Okay. So how does very simplistic terms? Can you give us a specific example of praxis in politics? Sure. Um, one thing that we've been talking about a lot in um, popular leftist politics right now mm -hmm. is um, the idea of sort of censorship okay. um, or sort of positive action. Um, in the case recently, Milo Yiannopoulos was speaking at Berkeley and a lot of protesters got up in that place and demanded that the school shut him down. Okay. Um, they shut him down mm -hmm. and ultimately he got a lot of attention for it. He went on Bill Maher. Uh, he turned out to touch children. Um, and long story short... We can't say that the left is responsible for him touching children. No, no, no. But the left is responsible for people knowing about him touching children. I thought a 16-year-old girl in Canada was responsible for that. It's She's a leftist. Okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, um, now he doesn't really have a career. He lost a seven-figure book deal, et cetera, and so forth. Um, right now, the discussion is about whether or not that level of censorship is okay. Um, because, you know, the, the right could turn it around on you and do that sort of thing. So, that debate is a debate on what is and is not good praxis. Is it good praxis to protest and demand schools shut down speakers. Okay, so anywhere that you use the word praxis, mm -hmm. you could use best practice. Yes. And it would just about be the same thing. Yes, yeah, okay. you could use best practice and that would absolutely fit. Huh, now I understand. All right, so that's praxis. Okay.